All right, so hi guys. So today I'm gonna get right into um, this tag that I wanna do. Um, I never did my official one year hair um, anniversary video. So I'm gonna kinda like include that into this. Look at my little cute little dress I have on. I have on my favorite jean jacket that one of my daughters absolutely hates because she hates this rip on the side but whatever <laughs> i thought i'd just point that out to that out to you guys so if you see it as i'm turning like what is going on i absolutely love this jean jacket um so i don't care if it's ripped or not i think the rips give it more character um i'll try to Okay guys, so this video is actually a tag. I will try to remember to put the name of the person who I got this tag from. I really like this um, tag video. So she said that anyone can do it. So um, I'm also gonna say that if you're watching, you can, you know, tag yourself and do the video as well. Okay, so the, the, the reason why I wanted to do this because the questions are just, you know, like good icebreakers. Um, especially since I feel like I'm new to YouTube. I've been on it for like a year now and um, And I think this is these are cute questions, you know about your hair your journey and things like that your favorite products and stuff So I thought it was a cute little tag to do So the first question would be uh, why did I start my hair journey? So I started my hair journey um, last year January when I noticed that um there was a patch of my hair back here that was breaking off because I had been um, stretching my relaxers a little bit longer um, than I normally do and um, my hair started to break because of that and then um, June I did the big chop or I did you know the semi big chop by cutting off the relaxed ends and so I've been on this journey uh, for like one year and almost two months I am completely natural and I can do a quick length check since I did not do a one year anniversary video I figured I would do this video as well um, so here's where I am now this is the front right there uh, these pieces are down here some pieces behind my ear are like right in there I have all kinds of length in here like right there to my collarbone um, and then these pieces um, like the crown area of my head um, they come pretty much like right there to the nape of my neck I do not have a particular goal length in mind um, only because I'm known for growing my hair um, and then I can't stand it anymore and then I decide to chop it off so I would love to have the big um, full um, braid outs or twist outs or whatever that's like right at my shoulder so I know I have some ways to go to get my hair to be that length um, I'm definitely a health over length type of person although I want length um, but I won't sacrifice um, the health of my hair for length. Um, my one hair product that I love would be Shea Butter. I gotta fix my camera here, guys. Okay, so the one hair product that I love is Shea Butter. I can mix it in with olive oil, coconut oil, and twist my hair, plait my hair, braid my hair, whatever. And it's going to give me a nice defined twist out, braid out, or whatever that I'm doing to my hair. It's going to make it soft and manageable. Um, so I, I do, I do, um, and it's cheap. So that's my favorite product. The worst product for me are probably going to be the gels. Um, first one by far, um, when I first tried on my hair, is the Eco Styler Gel, even the kind that has the olive oil in it. My go-to hairstyle would be of Afro. I like to take a headband and pull it back. As you guys can see, I have a big forehead. <laughs> but I love to wear my hair off my face. And I love pulling it back with a headband and just having my hair like really big and afro. That's like, I am not a product junkie. I'm always talking about how I don't want to pay 20 I don't want to pay more than six dollars for a product. Uh, I cannot be a product junkie on the amount of money that I'm making right now. 
I trim my hair probably every four to six weeks. Um, it just depends on if I'm twisting my hair, plaiting my hair, or braiding it. And I see that my ends are looking a little stringy. They're, they're not like curling back up. I'm not getting a nice curl on the end or whatever. I'll cut that off a little. Other than that, I'll go maybe six months and then I will just go through my hair and just cut, take off probably about a quarter of an inch of hair. So I do not use any type of heat on my hair. There's no direct application of heat. Um, the only heat my hair may get is hot water, um, hot oils, and anything from the sun if I'm out in the sun and my hair is getting fried and baked in that type of heat because my hair fries and bakes in the heat anyway. So I don't put any type of direct heat, whether it's flat irons, curlers, or blow dryers, even on a cool. I also do not take any type of supplements. I, my favorite oil, oil would be olive oil, followed closely by coconut oil, but olive oil ranks really high with me. Um, that was one of the first oils I was introduced to, and it has by far done the best in my hair. My hair crush would be Beauty Cut Right because when I first got on YouTube last year and I was just going through different videos, I was so amazed at the fact that she was cutting she was doing that tapered like dope haircut herself so i just crushed on her hair for a very long time and i still do i love her hair okay um my wash day routine can be anywhere from 10 minutes because <laughs> i do not plan things that well so um it could take me 10 minutes to all day long um I'll wake up in the morning some days when I know the night before I should have prepped my hair and I will find myself in the shower deciding to wash my hair one hour before I have to go to work. And yes, I said I have 4C type of hair. <laughs> I like put it in two braids or I put it in cornrows or whatever going back and then put my beanie on because I decided to wash my hair in the morning so I can, you know, detangle my hair or whatever. So my wash days can take... You know, it can be really, really quick in the morning um, and then I have to still deal with it later on at night or it could just start out just being an all day process of me washing my hair, conditioning, then going back and twisting my hair for like an hour if I depends on, you know, how big or how small my twists or braids are. Since this journey will probably just be like those hairstyles that I just not that great or whatever. Um, before the journey, it would just be, before my journey, I was getting blowouts done and I got color and my hair at that time was natural. So I went to get my hair blown out with all this heat and then I got color on top of it. And so my hair was shedding in the salon and I really was not prepared to handle my hair with color plus being natural. So it was just a hot mess. I mean, luckily it was only um, highlights. So that broke off really quickly, uh, probably within two months because I just was not maintaining my head. I, I, so yes, I have dyed my hair. My daughters helped me last weekend dye my hair and these are the results. It's a light auburn color and I don't know if you guys can actually see it, but it's really cute. Um, but um, I love it. I absolutely love it. So guys, I want to thank you so much for watching my video. Be sure that you like it. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. And also leave me a comment down um, in the box. And if you want to do this tag as well, feel free to do the tag. I was told that you know anyone can do the tag. So thank you guys for watching. Bye.